Ask Reddit. What is the most cringeworthy thing you did to woo your crush? For the purposes of this post, my name is Mark. I saw a coin on the ground while talking to a girl and decided to show off how cool I was in a humorous way. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm so cool at everything I do. Hey look, a penny. I picked up the coin and then started celebrating. Go Mark, go Mark, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. The humor being that I was oblivious to being cool at even the little things, like picking up coins. Fuck I was horrible. I drew a picture for a girl in middle school to ask her out. It was of us holding hands in front of a sunset. She showed her friends and laughed at it with them. Bruh. Have you assassinated her afterwards? Hidden Blade FTW. I knew which way she walked home from school, so one sick day I wrote I love Heidi in giant chalk letters on the sidewalk where I knew she'd pass. I hid in the bushes and when she walked by I yelled blue up dune. She promptly decided to speed walk the rest of the way home, I never told her it was me. Did she see you? I would be so creeped out if someone yelled that while hiding in a bush, out of sight. Nope, just a disembodied voice calling creepily from the bushes. Fifth grade was a weird time in my life, I blame Serge and AOL. I tried to sing her a song while playing it on the piano. I can't sing. I can't play piano, I just knew the basic tune and knew that the higher notes were to the left on the keyboard. I didn't even know the words to the song. Looking back, it was pretty obvious she didn't even want me to sing to her, she was being polite. Oh god op, why did you make me relive this memory? The higher notes are on the right. Unless there's such a thing as left-handed pianos. Oops. Guess I proved my point. Were you, not able to tell? He really, really couldn't sing. I guess you could chalk it up to error and then hide in a bush. Actually he is deaf and you are making fun of his disability. I wanted to be her partner when we got in pairs in Spanish class. I was mentally preparing how I was going to ask, but when the teacher said to find a partner, I just yelled her first name really loud. People stared at me and she was embarrassed I think. It is one of those times where I look back and still cringe. Did you yell her Spanish name or real name? Did you have to pick Spanish names? We did have Spanish nicknames but never used them. I don't remember mine. Seat Costanza. Let's pretend that my Spanish name was Seat. Yeah I think that's what he was doing lol. I was endorsing his great idea. So was Jake the Porn. I was really into dragons growing up. Like really into them. I had a book called Dragonology, which I had with me all the time. In the book there was a language key for dragon runes. Well me being my sly mysterious self, I wrote her a love note in these runes with a little key on it, so she could figure it out. Didn't say it was from me. I slipped it into her locker and she confronted me the next day. I was amazed that she knew the note the one written in dragon language was by me the kid that was obsessed with dragons. Thinking back I must have come off like a greasy haired zodiac. Holy shit, dragonology. You just took me back, I was in a group of kids who were obsessed with dragons during school. We'd pretend to have various types of dragons, all starting at eggs. It wasn't fun at the end though because there was the kid whose dragon would always grow faster than ours, despite said kid not following the timeline for how fast dragons hatched. That brat, he'd always brag and when we'd try to call him out, he'd say that his dragon was different and better than ours. I had an ice dragon that never grew up past hatchling state before the game ended. Yo that game sounds fucking sick and I play? Haha, <laughs> sure, let's resurrect the game. My ice dragon is now chilling behind me, he kinda brings the temperature down in here. Kinda sucks for the winter, but it's nice for the summer. His name is Cube, 10 year old me thought it was clever. Heh, Ice Cube. I wrote him an essay to confess my love to him. Seven pages worth of cringe. Front and back. You fell asleep? Y-O-U apostrophe R-E means you are. Y-O-U-R means you're. Oh who who fine by me. In middle school, I had my mom spend $40 $50 in a heart-shaped locket with her name engraved in it. I still cringe to this day thinking about it. Edit. Damn English professionals turned me into a wincest kid. In elementary school, there was a necklace pair that was each half a heart that fit together at the kid's bookstore thing. I bought it and put one half on her chair, thinking she'd find me with the other half and we'd fall in love. I'm dying just thinking of it 20 years later. Oh. That's some movie moment material right there, if only she'd stuck to the script. What movie? Friday the 13th? So much shitty teenage poetry that I thought was deep. Found a couple of them a few months ago and had to resist the urge to cringe my way into traffic. Shitty poetry was my thing. 
I am so glad my teenage angst poetry got lost along the road of life. I have nightmares that while receiving an award for my writing, someone will stand up and start reading the lost cringifist poetry. Did you call girls goddesses? Middle school me thought every girl I liked deserved to be called a goddess. Goddess? No. Muse? Yes. I worked in the office at a construction company part-time at 17. I'm a flirt anyway, but there was one young guy I actually had a crush on, so I always thought he was flirting flirting with me. For his birthday I found a doll-sized truck that looked exactly like his and baked him a cake shaped like a garage with the truck inside. Yes it was difficult and time-consuming. Wow this is amazing. My wife is gonna love it too and probably want to know how you did this. Pro tip. Guys in hands on vocations often don't wear wedding rings for fear they will have to be cut off in an accident. At least he was able to let you down gently without being like lol sorry I'm married. He gave you a way to think he didn't even notice. On another note, my brother is an electrician and had the inside of his wedding ring lined with rubber or something to avoid electrocution. My dad never wore his wedding ring because when my parents first married he was a mechanic, feared losing it while working, but even though he's a manager now he still doesn't wear it lol edit. Okay I've never said I was an expert on electricians and their wedding rings. All I'm saying is that my brother got his ring customized in order for him to be able to wear it on the job and that he's an electrician. I just assumed it was lined with rubber or something. Please stop blowing up this comment with no, that won't work, I'm not the one who's an electrician. Oh definitely there are more reasons for not wearing one on the job, but my point was I didn't know he was married because he didn't wear a ring and hadn't mentioned her the four mo's I knew him at the time of the cake. I just cringe at how desperate it must have looked, even though at the time I was just trying to be thoughtful, creative, and sweet. I didn't flirt the same way after I knew, of course, and he asked if he had done something wrong, but I explained I just mistakenly thought he was single, so now he only gets generic dad joke type flirting, not the top shelf stuff. He was probably joking, but he said he wished he hadn't told me, but not into taking someone else's guy or being the convenient sex on the side. There's plenty for everyone to have one of their very own. I bought red roses, got up early, went to her place, and placed one rose on her doorstep, one on her windshield, one on her desk at work and one in her coffee cup. She was a little creeped out. This sounds like the beginning of a horror film. I can see her excitement turning to fear as every rose is revealed. Then he comes out from the closet with just a rose in his mouth oh, look one is sticking out of his pee hole. I had a phone that barely had a Facebook app. I thought I was searching her name to creep on her. I actually posted her name as my status. Holy shit this is like my worst nightmare. I actually check my activities sometimes to make sure nothing like this happened. I have to log in after watching poem or something to make sure I didn't somehow manage to share it. Why? You don't think others would enjoy the same poetry as you? Porn? Lmao, I recently did this in League of Legends. I was playing with my friend and his wife for a while. I wasn't friends with his wife on LOL for the first few games, so I finally added her. I guess I wrote her name as my status at first without realizing it. A week or so later my friend asked why I had his wife's account as my status. It was hilarious, I just left it as my status for a long time because I thought it was so funny. How did you mess that up? No idea, I guess I wasn't paying attention and started typing. Pressed enter to search, realized I was in the wrong box, and just continued to add her as a friend. I rarely use the status feature in that game anyways. In the 8th grade I printed out Green Day lyrics and wrote, I love you on the end, then taped them all over her desk and chair. Somehow, it didn't work out. Gotta use Coldplay lyrics man. Nah, Nickelback's wear it at man. Look at this graph. Pick flowers at night, put them in front of her door. Not even a note, or a name, or anything, just the flowers. Even denied when she asked if they were mine. Don't know what I was trying to accomplish there killing flowers in her name. Dropping off their remains by her door anonymously. I think the message was clear. You're next. Either that or he's just preparing for his transition into becoming a cat. Objection, she is not a cat. I'm paying alimony to a goddamn cat. I love seeing always sunny references everywhere.